Hey guys, this is Cybernet8610, and I'm getting back to the discussions, Yu-Gi-Oh! discussions, so today I'm going to have an Ice Bear discussion. Uh, there's been a, few, a pretty good amount of requests for this kind of discussion, so I thought I'd go ahead and get started with it. First off, Ice Barriers are known for being able to control the field. They always give you that field advantage, is kind of what their arch type's based on. So they're pretty interesting. I have pick just a few of them of course I can't go over every card in the arch type so I just you know I think I picked like eight of them just to kind of go over so here we go list defender of the ice barrier it's a pretty interesting card a one star water aqua type and uh, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you draw one card so that's pretty interesting I kind of like that card I wonder if it could be splashed around in other decks if it was winged beast type I think it might be able to use more actually but I'm not too you know, I don't, I don't know too much about Ice Barrier Monsters, so being Aqua, it might actually help it more. So, you know, who knows on that. The next one is Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. It is a level 2 tuner monster. It has 1,300 attack, 0 defense, and its ability is while, this, while you control another Ice Barrier Monster, uh, level 4 or lower mo higher monsters cannot declare an attack. So that's kind of an interesting card. It can help you get by some of your... Your opponent's monsters that are higher levels so it's kind of an interesting tuner royal knight of the ice barrier it's a pretty interesting one as well i like the art of this one it's pretty cool uh 2000 attack 2000 defense five stars its ability is that when this card is tribute summon special summon one ice ice coffin token i think is what it says it's kind of hard to read with that image and the token will be an aqua type water level one Attack 1000, defense 0, and attack position on your opponent's side of the field. This token cannot be attributed or, tri or uh, a tribute summon. So that's kind of an interesting card. Uh, I like the, uh, like I said, I really like the art because it just looks really cool. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting card. Samurai of the Ice Barrier, another one I like the art too. It looks like they're, I think this is one of the, yeah, it's a newer one. Dual Terminal 5 for Japan. So, you know, it's one of the newer Ice Barriers, and it's pretty cool looking. Let's see, he is a level 4. I think it's a warrior, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot to write that down on there, and I can't read Japanese, but I believe it's a warrior. And it's attack 1,800, defense 1,500. Its ability is when this card on the field is changed from face of attack position to defense, you can destroy it and draw a card. So that's kind of an interesting ability. Let's see, Reese the Ice Mistress. I believe a lot of people like this tuner. It's a level 2 tuner, and it can be destroyed by battle with a level 4 or higher monster. So it's pretty interesting. It reminds me of a Cryomancer. And, yeah, it's just kind of an interesting card. It came out in our uh, uh, Gold Series 3 as a common, I believe. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Let's see, uh, next one, General... Grunt, Grand? I don't really know how to pronounce that. Grunt, Grunard? Uh, I don't know. Of the Ice Barrier. It's best I can pronounce it. And it is a level 8 water. I, I'm guessing it's a warrior. Again, I did not write down what it was. Dual Terminal 6 for Japan. Attack 2800, defense 1000. Its ability is once per turn you can normal summon one Ice Barrier monster in addition to your normal summon or set. So that's actually a really cool ability. I don't think there are really any cards that are like this, and it's pretty interesting. So you can actually normal summon more than once in a turn, or set more than once in a turn, using this guy. So that's pretty cool. That can help you swarm the field. Gunner, Gunner, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, Dragon of Ice Barrier. I'm not really good at pronouncing cards, so forgive me if I mispronounce some things. Uh, let's see, this one is a level set, yeah, level 7. Water, I have... I'm not sure. I think it's uh, I think it's an aqua or or it's a dragon. I, like I, I should have wrote down that kind of stuff. But it's a synchro monster, of course. Dual terminal five. I believe we're gonna get a hidden arsenal three. I think it's even gonna be the cover card, if I'm not mistaken, on that. Two thousand five hundred attack, one thousand seven hundred defense. It requires a tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters that are water type or attribute. Uh, once per turn, you can discard up two cards to the graveyard and select and destroy equal number of cards from your your opponent controls. So that's kind of an interesting, it reminds me of uh, the other Ice Barrier Synchros, they all kind of have that in common, read discard things, and you know, it kind of gets rid of your opponent's field. So yeah, it's pretty interesting, the art's kind of neat, kind of has like a rainbow effect to him. 
uh, Trishela, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. I believe this is one that a lot of people want to get. I, I'm guessing, let's see, it would probably be in our Dual Terminal 4 or 5. Uh, I mean, four, uh, Hidden Arsenal 4 or 5 is what I meant. And so, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It comes out in a. It's in Japan's Dual Terminal 8. So, hopefully, it won't take too long for us to get this card since Dual Terminal. Or Hidden Arsenal, sorry, I keep getting confused. Hidden Arsenal 3 is coming out in December. So, hopefully, we'll get this guy next year or so by the summer, hopefully. It is, I believe, level 9. Yeah. Very interesting card. Uh, it requires a tuner one, or in two or more non tuners. Uh, attack 2,700, defense 2,000. And let's see, his ability is when this card is synchro summoned, you can remove from play one card each from your opponent's hand, graveyard, and side of the field. So that's pretty interesting ability. I really like that card. And the art is just awesome, I think. I like how it has, I think it has like two tails, is what it's kind of showing. Like, or I don't know if those are extra arms or extra head. I guess they're extra heads. Yeah, they're extra heads. So it kind of reminds me of Cyber In. This has three heads. Really interesting card, though. That's probably the one I'm looking forward to the most out of all the Ice Barriers. I decided not to talk about uh, Bronic or the Tiger one. For some reason, I can't think of the Tiger's name. Forgive me for that. Because I've talked about them, I don't know how many different times. So that's the reason they weren't talked about in this. Although they are good Ice Barrier Synchro Monsters, I just decided not to talk to them. Like I said everyone talks about them and I have probably about three times each I don't know I've talked about them a lot so yeah this discussion for ice barrier monsters if there's another archetype or anything like that that you want me to discuss please tell me I have a list of different archetypes I need to discuss so I will try to go through those pretty soon and hopefully in the next couple of weeks you'll see a bunch of discussions and I'm working on some other series and things like that also check out the website and uh, check out my forums i'm trying to get the forums built up so if you want to post a topic and stuff like that feel free to do so all right and uh that's all please subscribe bye youtube today's video is sponsored by strikezoneonline.com strikezoneonline.com has easy navigation to find any card or pack that you're looking for and also has some of the best gaming supplies out there with their easy payment options you can buy whatever you need from strikezoneonline.com so go check it out today